on hold the phone here. EMF and titanium implants. What does that have in common? Well, EMF is electromagnetic field. Where do we have it? Oftentimes it's on our cell phone. You don't want to be talking with the phone to your head when you have any titanium implants in your mouth. So you have it on your face and it's going to actually raise the temperature of the implant and create more inflammation around the implant. And it can even cause implants to fail or get periodontal infection around it, which is called periimplantitis. And then it's hard for us to take care of it and make the bone happy again. Come follow us for more. Hello, good morning. I'm Dr. Jayant here from Jayasur and Technic Basresh Nagar. Today we are going to talk about electromagnetic uh, radiations which is caused because of uh, mobile fusing of uh, mobile phones which will have an impact on uh, uh, dental implants. Basically, uh, previous video we have talked about uh, dental implants, how advantageous uh, for the patients to eating, better eating and better chewing, better talking and better smiling from both, both from the uh, functional point of view, patient can eat and uh, chew and the cosmetic point of view, patient can have a enhanced beautiful smile and uh, that will uh, enhance the personality of the patient. So that is the advantages of doing cortico basin implants uh, where you will be using a keyhole surgery is absolutely no, no stitches or no suture is required and uh, no bleeding will be there because application of ozone will really help the patient to avoid uh, uh, any antibiotics after placing the dental implants and uh, this is absolutely painless and patient will get it immediately on the same day of placing the implants. That's the beauty of uh, uh, placing the cortical basin implants. Today topic is like how, how after placing the implants how the mobile radiations will affect uh, affects the titanium implants uh, which is fixed inside the mouth where patient every day is going to communicate with uh, using the mobile phones. There are basically today two, two types of dental implants are there. One is conventional implants and the other is cortico basin implants. So this uh, add what you saw in the first thing is basically which will affect the conventional uh, dental implants where it is short screws, short uh, implants has been fixed where which will uh, engage the cancellous bone, soft bone. Basically it will engage the soft bone of the the, uh, mouth and uh, we are, we allow the so cancellous bone to grow around the implant for at least three months or six months that is the negative part of these uh, cancellous uh, uh, conventional implants whereas in cortical basin implants we engage the hard part of the bone which is uh, uh, with, which will never get demineralized normally 99% per, percent of the time it will get, never get demineralized that's a strong bone we engage that cortical strong bone so whatever the titanium we are using grade 4 or grade 5 up to grade 20 titaniums are there so whatever the titanium we are using it depending upon the uh, patient requirement so this radiation will not have an impact on the bone so radiation can only affect the soft tissues and the can soft bone whereas it can't affect the cortical bone. So that is how it is more advantageous for the patient. Patient will have a foolproof implant for chewing, talking and eating. So that will boost the confidence of the patients for going for dental implants, cortico basal dental implants which gives the patient for teeth to chew in the same day immediately after placing the implants. So regarding the titanium implants, whether a patient is using a titanium grade 4 or grade 5, either it can be for uh, MRI scanning purpose uh, or as uh, for the mobile radiation has been used, patient can definitely use, they can go for MRI implants after fixing the cortico basin implants minimum of at least three to six months later then definitely they can engage in, in uh, using the uh, mobile phones. There is no harm in it. These are the advantages. So kindly uh, try to know with your dentist which implant you want to go for it, whether you want to go for the cortico basal implants or your conventional implants and uh, try to talk to your dentist regarding the advantages and disadvantages. Both are present in the, uh, both the techniques and uh, how frequently you are using the mobile phones. So that also count for, for deciding the uh, implants which you want to go for it depending upon the exact requirement and depending upon the uh, feasibility of the bone 
availability on the patient's mouth you can discuss with your implantologist and uh, decide to go for the dental implants so the, this hope this short video will help the patients to decide the differences between the conventional implants and the cancellous corticobasal implants and uh, uh, how the how this ad might uh, make a panic for the patients like going who wants to go for uh, dental implants hope i've tried to solve the so uh, the solve the problems or what the confusion patient had regarding the uh, implant placement and usage of the mobile phones after placing the uh, dental implants this is uh, dr jain signing off from jaisu dental clinic basavishnagar bangalore thank you